Forget about all that evil Forget about all that evil That evil that they feed you Uh, so that's what this whole mission's about. Like to believe in yourself and Everything you were just talking about is exactly what this is all about. Can I, can I talk to you about that a little bit? Sure. All right. I have to sit down with you guys. Hold on. Sing. <laughs> See, so you put it out into the universe. You had intention. And what happened? This dude wearing a shirt talking about exactly what you wanted just showed up. Right? Right. All right. Intuition. Because what do you think about intuition? You can't believe without the intuition. So how about that's mine. How about this? How about your intuition is your compass? No, compassion is your compass. Um yeah, I think that I can understand. I can understand where you say intuition. We have intention, right? So you you have this idea of what you want in the universe, where you want to be you want to turn your business into millions, right? So then you use your intuition, what you feel is right to guide you there because you don't always have those answers. That's true. Right? Right. So you gotta you got you've got this intern we all do. We all have this right. voice inside. That's but we don't really listen to it. Is, right. That's well, true. what is it? Some person call it instinct. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Just, you actually you know. can call it instinct. Yeah. Right. Just, see, but you have control. It. I understand it as it's a knowing I understand it's knowing because you don't you're not recording, are you? I am. Oh. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on. Oh, I think she had something great to say. Oh, she's funny. So, thank you for sticking around, by the way. Because this will inspire other people, you know? I don't mind, I will talk to anybody about anything. That's so beautiful. You're kind of tapped into the universe a little bit. What's what's that all about? I mean, how'd you get how'd you get there? I got there from doing lots of reading. and then Lots I of reading. What Christian kind of reading? Science Church. Um, what kind of reading? I don't know. I got into reading realistic things. I'm not so much like you know how people read books. Fiction, stuff like that. But you're more in a formative. That kind of stuff. It's like what's what's I the would best read, book? Like what's the best? The, book? the one that you think has has helped you the most. Um, the power of your subconscious mind. Ooh, wow, that sounds great. I haven't read that, but I love but that book. have you heard of the power of now? I've heard that. They, I've read that, that book, uh, Eckhart Tolle. Yeah. He talks a lot about that. I have a talks a lot about books. that. Yeah, incredible, incredible. A lot, a lot of the big guys talk about that. So you said something about wanting to be a millionaire, right? Well, not so much a millionaire. I would really just like to, I guess, make enough money to make life more comfortable and not sure. feel like I'm struggling and not feel like I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul or like the clothes I bought today, I really shouldn't have bought the money right. should have went on the bill, but right. I decided I wanted these clothes, I was getting them. So, so let me ask you, so. let me ask you something. Um, there's a lot of people out there making a lot of money, right? Yeah, right, well, tons of people, right, yeah, of people. and people that may have started from from modest means like you, right? People that were in your exact same place, right. who are now millionaires, right? Mm -hmm. So it can be done. It can be done. Right. So and you're you're already reading books. I'm reading right? books and actually just recently locally in the B paper, the front page talked about how this generation of younger people are not going the route that people have gone in the past as far as jobs are concerned. Right. I'm one of them. I'm one of them, yeah. So I think that's cool because if people knew, like young people today knew what I know now, they wouldn't go that route either of doing what they parents yeah, or grandparents did. Yeah. They'd do something totally different. Sure, and the world's changing, of course. And, you know, back then, during their grandparents' time, they didn't really, I mean, let's be honest, they didn't really have the same opportunities. That's true. And it's getting much they, easier. They didn't know as much as we know now. Right, you didn't have access to the information. You didn't even know what you were thinking was wrong. Yeah. Or, or not, at least, not necessarily wrong, but doesn't serve you as much. Well, I agree with you. And you said that, that made me think of my mom, because I could draw as a kid, like draw any Thing. And I wanted to be an artist, and she said, "No, you're going to starve to death." And right. I said, so later on down the line, when my brother and I, who both go to the Christian, same Christian Science Church, I said, "Mom," I said, "She's deceased now, by the way." But anyway, okay. I said, "Mom, you you ruined your kid's life." But I said, "I don't mean to make you feel bad." I said, "But I was your artist." I said, you "Probably could have been brilliant or famous." I said, "Harvey was your comedian, which is my brother." Yeah. I said, "And Carl was your dancer." I said, you had yeah. talented kids. I said, you didn't encourage anybody to do anything. Right. I said, you didn't nurture our talents. She said, I didn't know any better. Right. She said, I right. taught you what I was taught. She said, and that's why I told you you need to get a job where you're going to make pretty good money and be okay. And so that's how I ended up nursing, listening to my mother. Wow. And, and you know what's so brilliant? I still is that you're open about that. I still not as much as I used to, and I find that 
as I get back into it, it's getting better, but it's not as good as it used to be because it was something I put by the wayside for so long. Right, you could tap back into that passion if you so desire, but maybe right now you have other passions. You know what I mean? Well, I still like to draw. Well, that's great. And, then, and I think, you know, if, if, if in your heart you want to, like, develop those things, you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's great. Have you ever heard of Tony Robbins? Nope. Oh, I... Oh, you said Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Okay, yeah. Have you read any of his books or watched any of his videos? I watched one of his videos. And what'd you think? I thought, great innovator, great motivator. And right, right, right. Great yeah. guy. I went to a 50-hour seminar. It was kind of pricey, but in the grand scheme of things, it's so cheap. Because he teaches you a lot of tools for success and for life, you know? How to have, just be happy. That's, I hate using that word success, success, success. It's like kind of surrounded by money, you know? You think money when you think success. But really, it's about fulfillment, you know? Because, you know, he even states, you know, there's people that have millions that aren't fulfilled, aren't happy. You know, and there's people that have no money that are extremely happy. You know what I mean, right? So it's really getting the fulfillment. Right. Um, I'm not against money at all. I think that in this world, if you want to do lots of different things, you know, you're gonna need money. Now, if you're happy, you know, living in a hut, you can be happy living in a hut. That's true. For sure. I don't, I'm getting older. I don't want a house anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Houses require a lot of upkeep. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot I'm of work. I'm actually 52, so I don't want a house anymore. Yeah, but you seem like you seem your energy is so young. You seem like you have a lot of, just constantly smiling. <laughs> Look at you, you you got energy popping out of you. Age is just a number. It's just a say. number, absolutely, I totally agree. And it shows. Um, but you know, again, when you really talked about about the money thing, you know, like, and I think that that, that you're right in, in caring about something like that, you know. We, we kind of, we say that money is the root of all evil. And it, it, what it really comes down to is the values of the people with that money. Right. You know what I mean? Because you know, I always say like, it's a lottery curse, right? Mm -hmm. Well, who's the ones always that win in the lottery? It's these, it's these like, kind of these poor people or these, you know, let's let's say a middle class person, right? That is not not used to having a million dollars. And what happens? They either die, or you know, they get or, this, they, waste or they waste it all, right? It's that lottery curse, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, you'll talk to any successful like wealthy person, and they'll tell you that it's not the money that got them there; it's their mindset. That's true. I agree. Right. So you develop the mindset, you become of value, and and money, and and all these riches and these things just come into your life and you become abundant right where the guy standing right next to you could be so scarce you know and it's all based on your mind right what you're putting out what you're what you're projecting out into the universe right you know I agree with you. and then you attract these things into your life and, and we, I don't know necessarily how to explain those things but it happens um, but what I was gonna suggest to you was that um, you know you model so Tony Robbins has this thing called modeling where if you want something, right, you know someone else has it, figure out what they're doing, how they're doing it, replicate what they're doing and how they're doing it, and you'll have the same thing. You'll, 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 you'll create, you'll have the same results. That makes sense. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so my, my um, advice to you is to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay. I've heard by of Robert that. Kiyosaki. Yeah, I've heard of that. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Okay. Phenomenal book. Um, and, then, and then from there, you can look up other books on your own time. That's, that's the one that I've, I've, I haven't focused too much on money mm -hmm. um, because I think that if you focus on just being a really, really valuable part of society, right. the, money the, the money or the abundance from whatever your actions right. are will come. Will that come. love yes, is really what we want yeah. is positive emotions, right? We yes. want to feel like a connection to the world. I agree. That's what we want. It's not these things. Right. It's the connection to the world, so true. you know, what we're doing right now yeah. and, and just feeling that love. That's truly what I think, I, I believe that's truly what we want. I believe it too. I believe you're right. That's great. What's your name? Frankie. You like a boy's name? Frankie. My name's Kershot. Say that again. Kershot. Okay, Kershot. It's like you're taking a shot. Okay. Kershot. Kershot. <laughs> I like that. So where'd that come from? Oh, uh, it's Turkish. My father's Turkish. Very nice. And so I'm Turkish. <laughs> so did you bike? Oh, bike to believe, yeah. Um, what kind of bike you got? So I'm, uh, oh, it's outside right now, but um, I don't know if you can see it, but okay. it's, um, uh, I'm biking from New York City to LA. And I'm doing it with uh, no money, no plan, and nowhere to stay. And um, so tonight, I actually, I have a place to stay. But um, when I go to Washington, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen. So I have to meet incredible people that just want to help out. You know what I mean? Kind of put me up or something like that. Um, or maybe who knows? Maybe I'll have to sleep on the street. Who knows? Who knows? Um, and, uh, and I got to figure it out as I go, basically. And I believe that there are incredible people out there, just like yourself, that I'm going to meet along the way. And I'm, I'm going to show the rest of the world that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't mind if you're recording me. I'm okay with that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Frankie. Um, I'm going to turn it off right now, actually. And I hope you have a great trip. Thank you so much. One tribe, one kind, one planet, one race It's all one blood, don't care about your face Color of your eye or the tone of your skin Don't care where you are, don't care where you been Cause where we gonna go is where we wanna be